What it is, y'all? It is your old boy, Pilk. And tonight, we're coming back at y'all with some Dokkan Battle. Now, I haven't yet really talked about Kale and Khalifla. We've been trying to do their damage test, and it just hasn't been working out because the nor way we normally do it is we do the 12 key test and we do the 24 key test. And I'm going to be real, you can't get their 12 key off. If you have any kind of decent team for them, you ain't getting their 12 key off. It's just they get way too much key. And that's not a criticism. That's a good thing. I know they've been talked about as being the best LR in the game. And after this, you know, a couple of the attempts at this, I'm not quite ready to disagree. But let's go ahead and make an educated, fair decision on this unit. I know this is super, like overdue this this video should have been out two weeks ago but I've, I've i've had about a dozen attempts at doing this and i haven't quite gotten the test i wanted now i know how we can get how we can get the 12 key super test off now to do that we have to get our 18 key first but let's talk first about what they do and why i built the team the way i did okay so if we go here into details basically if you're not familiar with how they work attack and defense 66 percent that's not impressive right 66 and launches an additional attack. Key plus one, up to 6%, and chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, plus six and up to 66%, with each attack performed. Now, one thing I do want you to notice, it's not like it increases the damage, it increases our key and our uh, basically evasion possibility with each attack performed. They get the same amount of key right off the bat, okay? Now, here's the thing. 66% attack and defense is nothing. That's laughable. But... Hear me out. Okay. Uh, attack 10% per Universe 6, join forces, or Pure Saiyan's ally on the team. That's really important. Okay. Launches an additional super attack when there's a Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyan's category enemy. So they're going to get three attacks. Maybe four. We'll get into that in a moment. When we actually get in there and start doing... Our actual attacks on people so that is a huge 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 thing but we know it's not like we have to build up their attack at all they get the base attack they just get better every time they get an attack off and i want you to make special note of that they get more key and more evasion with every attack they get off that means if you were lucky enough to pull a dupe of them or if you haven't pulled on it yet or whatever if you pull a dupe of them you want double attack i know people have said a couple other things but hear me out. They have such good key links. So many great key links. They're going to link stupendously with, like, anybody. It's ridiculous. So let's talk about their key links real quick. So Super Saiyan is, is their first attack link. Fierce Battle is their only other attack link. That's a 10% and 50% attack link. But because their secondary... Uh, attack percentage. Remember, they have the 66% and then the 10% per ally on the team. Because it's per ally on the team, because it's a conditional attack percentage, with every ally they get on that team, that percentage adds in at the end. So you can already see they're going to start producing crazy, crazy damage. Alright? Now, they only get 10% of 15% attack links. That's fine. 25% attack link is more than enough. Battlefield Diva. Battlefield Diva is a key plus two. Warriors Universe 6, that is a key plus 2. Okay? Tournament of Power is key plus 3. Prepared for Battle, key plus 2. You see where I'm going with this? Now, they have Legendary Power, but I'm not worried about that. It's a flat boost. Okay? So, they're going to link really, 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 really well with anybody! Alright? Now, to make sure they get their proper attack links, they have to get Super Saiyan, they have to get Fierce Battle. So, I've got Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa as their main attack buddy. Plus, she's going to have Battlefield Diva, so she's going to give herself, she's going to give a ton of key. She's got Super Saiyan, but she does not have Fierce Battle. Literally, everybody else I put on this team has Fierce Battle. Plus, the leader is Universe Survival, or I'm sorry, Universe Survival Saga or Universe 7. Key plus 3, HP 30%, attack and defense 70%. I believe he's one of the only 70%. I think there's maybe one other. Uh, I don't believe Vegeta does it. Uh, but they'll work on a ton of teams. Okay, yeah, Vegeta is attack 70%. Uh, 
Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, attack 130%. They've got a couple different leaders, but I really think this is the best team because it's easy to get a Super Saiyan, uh, which, i.e., about half of our units have the Super Saiyan link. But Fierce Battle is literally every other unit on this team, and we can use Goku and Frieza, which is a boss unit. Um, so one of the things that I've heard with Kaelin and Khalifla is keep one of them TUR for the attack links. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but... My opinion, I think they're going to get a lot more out of double attack. So for me, for my dupe, that dupe's going into double attack. Remember, it's just going to build it up. They're going to get more evasion. Hello, they're basically built for Super Battle Road. Hi, how you doing? Now, to test them out, normally we'd go into boss rush. We're not doing boss rush today. We are going to go in here to the legendary Goku event. Okay? Why? He's pure Saiyans. Just makes sense. Now we got Khalifla. We have our unit with Fierce Battle. Okay. I thought he, I think pretty sure he has Fierce Battle. I don't remember, to be honest. Yeah, he does. Okay. I thought so. I thought that was one of the reasons I used him. So, we've got Khalifla. We've got Kale and Khalifla. We've got uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the new one. Um, our leader. <clears throat> I want you to just look for a moment at the amount of key that they're sharing. Or I say sharing. Utilizing. Even if I put them in the front, there's still no possible situation with Khalifa on this team that they're not getting their U Super. It's just, it's it's a thing. But I'm going to put them in the center. Uh, it won't actually manage to change the outcome one bit. Well, a little bit, actually. That's right, because they, they don't have Fierce Battle if they're out of the center. So we're going to keep them in the center. I'm going to go ahead and feed them up. We are going to get their full 24 key. I mean, pretty straightforward. What, what more could you honestly ask for? Now, hopefully their, their extra attacks are uh, super attacks, which was going to be the 12 key super. Because remember, the secondary attack is never going to be the 18 key. So we'll be able to use that to calculate up their 12 key versus their 18 keys. So first Khalifla. Boom. All right. Now pay close attention to the attack stat here. 1.3 1.93 million 1.93 million and I want you to bear in mind we don't have the them the ability system we don't have the dupes we don't have anything in them now 1.1 mil there we go we just saw the attack stat for their uh, their basic super attack their 12 key super attack and they have the potential to have one more of those in them so yeah already good Already very good units. Remember, they don't get stronger the more they fight. They just get more evasion. So, let's go... And that's SA-10. SA-10. Let's go SA-20. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and abandon the quest here. Let's go SA-20 and see how much better they do. So, once this uh, actually leaves the event, please, thank you, come on. Love the loading screens. My favorite screen in the game. Um, okay, leave the event, go out here, and let's just go into training, and let's go ahead, as you can see, I got, a, I got a dupe there for him. Come on, go train, go train, there you go. Let's go ahead and give them some Elder Kais. So, I'm, not, I'm just going to bypass the Sleepy Kais, and we're going to go straight to Elder Kais. Oop, need one more. Oh, come off it. There we go. Which, as I'm well aware, that was my fault. But, I can still complain about it. So, SA-15. And SA-20. Now, do I have any blues? I do not. Alright, cool. Alright. SA-20, ahoy. So now, at SA-20, no, still no ability system. Still no ability system, I want to point out. We're going to throw them back in there and see what they do. Alright, so I was able to find a Blue Coup friend. Uh, he is chilling there now, and we well, can kind of see what we've got going on. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens uh, now. Alright, so I ain't really worried about what else is going on. Let's just get... Hopefully Khalifa doesn't kill him. I don't think she has the, has the ability to, so... Really didn't foresee that very well. No, okay, perfect. Now, the only downside is I think we're not going to get our 18 key out, so... 
2.5 mil. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not, not going to get our 12 key. We're just going to get the 18 key. Yeah. So we're just going to bypass the 12 key on that one. Um, you can pretty much math out what it's going to be. I'll put the approximation over there. It's really not that huge of a difference, but it is at the same rate. So we went up from just under 2 mil to like 2.5. So a significant increase in damage. Let's go ahead and round there farting around with the 12 key because let's be real. You don't really care. It's just a bonus attack. Really not that big a deal. So let's go ahead and put 55% in the ability system. We'll see what they do. And then give them that dupe. So let's go ahead and get past this loading screen. Now, once again, I want to just double. I want to say this again for clarity's sake. If you pulled a dupe, do not hang on to that dupe just because you're like, oh, I'll just chill with him or whatever. You do not want to do that. You definitely, definitely, definitely want to put double attack in this unit. I mean, there's absolutely no reason not to. In fact, if there's any indication, they made them AGL so their native is the double attack. So, yeah, it, I mean, that should just be a dead giveaway right there. But eh, to be fair, they don't always... They don't always brand them quite pr appropriately like that. But, you know, here we go. 55%. Got to make little, like, laser noises when you do it or else it's not done right. I don't know if you knew about that. That's a little, uh, a little secret uh, among us YouTubers. If you don't make little laser noises while you're doing it, it's not done right. So you get a little bit of extra power out of it by doing it that way. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So we don't have Khalifla, but we're fine. You can see that they've got plenty of key links once again. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to try to nerf uh, Goku. I don't really want him to get a super attack. I just want Kale and Khalifla's. Now, once again, this is going to be another situation where they're not going to get their 12 key off. But once again, we can approximate it. So let's see what happens here. Oh, come on, dude. Just... Just get it over with. 2.8. So add a, so we got 0.3 of a mil out of 55% in the ability system. Okay. So not bad. Not bad. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. Do it. Do it, girls. Okay. Uh, I didn't see what that was. One point something looked like. It almost looked like their 12 key now is as powerful as their 24 was before. So... And I do want to say, actually, I did kind of mess up on these last two. I didn't give them, or this last one, I didn't give them the full 24 key. So they would have had a hair more power. It would have been almost 3 mil, the more I think about it, because they would have had a little bit more out of them, because I didn't give them the full 24. So that's 100% on me for not remembering that when I did the test. But you already get the idea. And I want to, I want to point out that when we put this dupe in next time, they now have the ability... To get up to four super attacks. Four of those bad boys at this leveled up state. Um, one thing I'd really love to do is actually go back in here and do it with like uh, Goku's skill and uh, Int Kale's skill. I, I really think. Oop, I went in the wrong one there. So I really think that would be something beautiful to behold. But. Yeah, let's go see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and reverse her. All right, let's reverse them. All right, so they am reversed. Let's go ahead and go to acquired. And we'll go to universe six because that'll make life a little bit easier on us. All right, and then we can go to reverse them one more time. Boom. There they am. And let's go back to the potential system, okay? Obviously, I'm going to do this dupe path just because this dupe path is the preferred method. Come on. There we go. All right. Unlocked and bada bing, bada boom. All right. So like I said before, we're going to give them as much double attack as possible. I know I have people screaming, oh, but crit's so much better. 
Not in this situation. We're going to give them a little bit of crit. I'm not going to give them evasion. Because once they get their attacks off, they're already going to have enough evasion. It's going to be ridiculous. So... What do we got here? Level 15 super attack, I think? Level 14. Level 14, uh... Level 14 double attack, level 3 crit. Man, I really want to see what happens when they're 100%. I'm, well, I take it back, I've seen it, but... You know what I mean, I want it in my hands. I want to do it. I want to do it. So let's go find a Bluku, and I'm going to get a little bit later in the match. I'll show you why. So I still wanted to get a little bit further in the match, but actually this is a perfect lineup. Uh, we got Fierce Battle, we've got Super Saiyan, we've got all of our links, we've got everything beautifully. I'm going to do one little change here, though. I'm going to go ahead and give this Goku those orbs. Well, hold up. Why would you do that? Because reasons. Let's see. Do we have enough purple spheres? We do. Okay. So we're going to do purple spheres to green spheres. We're going to do green to blue. And that's going to give us just enough key to get them up to 24. Okay. Uh, we could only do the 12, but remember, the 24 gets us a little bit more damage power, etc., 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 okay? Now, we really want to see what happens here, because they could get four super attacks, in, in theory, in theory, okay? Glad he didn't. All right, so 3.37. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, they still have everything linked up properly. They've still got everything perfect. So, pretty good. Now, 3.37... Plus, theoretically, 1.92. Three times. Yes. Yes. You're doing the math on that, and you're going, oh, holy crap, they're insane. Yeah. Yeah. I have a new favorite LR. I know you guys don't want to hear it. I know you guys are done, done here, and they're the best in the, in the game. But holy crap, they're the best LR. And it's about to get even more ridiculous. So as you can most likely tell via my change of attire, this took a long time to set up. But this is the perfect, and I mean perfect scenario, okay? So what we've got... Yeah, this will work. This will work. I had to, had to logic this out for a moment because I'm like, oof. I want Chompa in front, but I don't think I can do it with Chompa in front. But, uh, I can. Yeah, we can do this. I had to logic it out for a moment. We can do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Kaioken Blue Goku do his active skill. Now, Chompa's going to get his posterior absolutely just beaten. He is going to be... Yeah, no, I'm actually have to move him. I really just need to be really, really cautious about how I do this. So we just got three mil. Boom, boom. Let's compare this to what they're going to produce. Okay? Now, bear in mind, Champa gives you 40%. If you're not familiar with how Champa works, Champa gives you... Category... Uh, Universe 6 Category Allies Key Plus 2 at Attack and Defense 40%. 40%. Now, the active skill of Kaioken Blue Goku gives us... Causes ultimate damage to the enemy and raises attack by 30%. So, we have 70%. 70% additional attack. On top of all the other boosts that they get. This should be absolutely filthy and hilarious, frankly. All right? So, I'm going to nerf Goku. I am not going to give him his full key. Uh, boom. Even if he gets super attacked, he should easily be able to survive this. I, eh, If I drop a Senzu, I'm not completely convinced that his active skill will be nullified. Uh, okay. Well, easiest way to tell. It's we're at 396, 198. So just be on the safe side. I'm gonna drop a Senzu, and hopefully this doesn't ruin the active skill. Nope. 
Active skill is still active. I figured that once you activate it, then everything's safe. So, there we go. Now, I am going to feed them up. I know this is unnecessary to go this crazy with it. But, the other thing you got to bear in mind, I need to make sure that we activate uh, the Dokkan on this one. So, there we go. Dokkan is activated. Champa is ready. Let's do this. All right, so he is going to super attack us. That sucks, but it's a damn good thing I dropped that Sun Tzu, because otherwise we'd have been dead, and I would have been mad, because it's taken me way too many times to build this up. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Got it. This is going to be max damage. Now, we can calculate roughly what the, uh, uh, what the equivalent is. Uh, is let's see here how much damage are they gonna do uh, okay 3.2 mil no all right here we go 2.7 mil attack stat and this produces no no I gotta there's no possible way. I, I gotta do a little math on that real quick before we get too crazy into this. Uh, Chompa's got us dead. Chompa's got us killed. I'm gonna do a little math on that real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Let me review those numbers and see what we got. Okay, guys. So, I did the math. And a little bit of something to talk about here, okay? So, and there's, there's something wonky about the way the math works because... They have type disadvantage, okay? So with type disadvantage, their 2.73 mil uh, attack stat turned into a little under a 400k actual hit. If you math it out, it's like 7.0 blah, 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 blah. It's right about a seven-fold reduction in attack damage overall. Non-critical, non-critical, okay? Now, there are a couple things to bear in mind. Critical would have left something on the table there. Um... They only have one dupe. That leaves a little bit on the table. But with their 3 mil hit, if you calculate it with that 7-fold attack damage, it comes out to be just just about 2.6, 2.63 million attack stat. Now, that isn't realistic. That's not realistic at all. Uh, if we calculate that the type disadvantage reduces... About half that. Let's just say half that. The equivalent attack stat under Dokkan with with the active skill of Goku and Champa equivalates to round about 11, 11.3 to 11.5 million attack stat. Now, remember, you have to go by attack stat. You can't really go by damage produced because in the legendary Goku event, his damage reduction is ridiculous. And like I said, we had type disadvantage, but Dokkan fest or Dokkan attack removes that. So we're in a weird scenario. But I'm gonna go ahead and say we produced an 11.3 million million attack stat. Okay. Now, if we math this out, what we what we can basically do here is we can say, okay, 11.3 mil. That's plus. Uh, 2.73, uh, 3706 was actually the number. Okay. Plus that. And we could do that up to three times. So our total attack damage equivalent. Now, bear in mind, this is calculating attack stats. This is not calculating damage produced. You have to do some math to base that entirely upon your given situation. But... The legendary Goku event is just going to guarantee we get all four attacks without having to fart around with other things. So 2.73 three times. Okay. Let's just calculate that back in. So that comes out to be, I hope you're sitting down, 19.5 million 
equivalent attack stat if you're going to calculate that as one, one turn. So basically, in that turn, they produce the potential equivalent of 19, mil, 19 almost 20 million damage, okay? Because remember, you're going to get a slight uh, advantage over that if all things neutral. Now, if they had type advantage, way more than that. Way more than that. If they get critical, way more than that. If we had all the dupes in there, way more than that. So you're talking easily, easily. In my situation, the potential equivalent in one turn of producing 20 million damage. Now again, there are maths and all that stuff involved. I'll put them down below so you can kind of see the equation that I used. But, and that's, that I would say is kind of a liberal estimate. Because remember, there's other things you can calculate in there. I did only do uh, type advantage as half, and it's actually a little more than that. It's wonky. But, yeah! So, when people went back, it's like, back in JP, uh, people said that these are the best. The Kayla Cleef are the best LR. I'm going to have to agree. You consistently get out... 18 key supers. If you're not getting 18 key supers with them, they're on the wrong team. Consistently. Without question. Uh, they are consistently... And all mine were calculated at 24 key, so do bear that in mind. They do get a little more damage once you get above the uh, 18 key. Or once you get above 20 key. So, consistently getting 18 key supers. They reliably get... I'd say two double attacks if you've got double attack in them. Uh, they're really easy to link. They only have two attack links, so it's really easy to link up. They're absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, unquestionably, I'm going to say it, the best LR in the game currently. Yep, I said it. I said it! I, I came at this as a skeptic. But the reality is simply, not only do they produce some of the highest damage out there, uh, especially once you calculate everything in one turn, not only do they produce some of the highest damage out there, not the highest yet, they're still, I think there's still someone above them, but consistency, consistency-wise, and the ability to produce multiple attacks makes them just ridiculous, okay? So, we need to now have a showdown. Who is the overall one turn Dokkan Fest, or I say Dokkan, keep going with Dokkan Fest, Dokkan Damage? Who is the king or queen or queen's? Uh... We need to figure that out. We've got a few other LRs to test out. This sounds like something we need to do uh, over the course of the month. Let's awaken some more LRs. Let's start doing some damage tests and let's actually. Go back and reassess damage from some of our older units and see what we've got. Sounds like fun. Hope to see you there. That's going to be the video, guys. If you don't have them, you have a little over 24 hours to go get them. So, I think they're worth. I know somebody who drew up, dropped 5,000 stones on them. I don't think that's worth. But get your 500 gold coins, and when they come back around, you can finally buy them. Just go buy them. Just, they're 100% worth. 100% worth.